Playing video games, it's often considered to be a bad habit or even antisocial. Some believe it encourages bad behaviour. But are online activities getting a bad rap? Our coffee group guest today says gaming could, in fact, be the key to helping kids form integral and lifelong good habits. Stephen Knightley joins us. Good morning to you. Good morning. So firstly, tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, you are, what, New Zealand's most experienced gamification consultant. Is that yep. even a thing? Uh, it amazes me, but yes, it's a thing. <laughs> and so what that is, it's all about taking you know, the positive, the good things about video games and applying them to something else, like education or... You know, workplace mm. topics or health. So how did you get into this? Um, look, so my background's corporate marketing and the like, but also working for people like Xbox, and it's the kind ah. of natural intersection of those two things. I see. So video games can actually reinforce good behaviour? Yeah, so look, they definitely reinforce behaviour. Yeah. You know, if parents have complaints, oh, my kids are playing video games for too long, well, mm. it's because they've been really successfully encouraging you know, their children to engage in the activity. Right. So the great thing is there's now you know, genre categories of video games out there which are designed for positive things. What about Call of Duty? So that actually does have positive effects. There's actually been academic studies that show that there's a whole bunch of teamwork and team building that's going on while you're playing that game online with your mates. So ah, that's interesting. What sort of age though? R16? It is an R16 game. Yeah. So that's the, and that's one of the other things that research says. When parents talk to their kids about the type of games they're playing, that's when you know, there's learning opportunities um, mm. that arise. And if it's R16, you know, have yeah. that conversation with your kids. My son tried to teach me how to play Star Wars and I was absolutely useless. I just could not, I just could not drive those things, whatever <laughs> they were. I was just keep crashing into the walls. He thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Um, so you have a great example today of a video game being used as positive learning tools. Yeah, and this, this is one we've been using um, in my family at home. So I've got seven and ten-year-old boys. And my seven-year-old loves this. And he's always been a little bit resistant about brushing his teeth. Yeah. And what I love about this one is it mixes um, both a, a game app. Yeah, um, I can see it on the screen right now. I as can. well as yeah. the actual toothbrush. So this is the Philips Sonic here um, for kids. Toothbrush, right. electric toothbrush. And it's Bluetooth, so it talks to the iPad or your iPhone, just like, say, Bluetooth speakers do in your house. And look, I'll, I'll show you it in action. So um, this is my son Ryan's um, Fluffy. Yeah. Um, and this cute little pet that he's grown over the years, um, over the last few weeks. And okay. Every morning, every evening, when he goes to brush his teeth, it gives him a little lesson, teaches him how to uh, brush his teeth properly. And then when you switch on the, the brush, on? Yep. it um, starts brushing his teeth. So the thing is, the Fluffy's got really small arms, so he can't reach to brush his own teeth. So you have to help him do it. This is crazy. <laughs> how cool. Can, it is. Does he do it for adults? It'll be so much fun. It's, it's, look, it's popular not just with the seven-year-old in the household. I bet. Um, we all help out. And you can see it goes around his mouth, um, you know, shows you how to brush your teeth properly, mm. so all the different qu quadrants of your mouth, but also it goes for the full two minutes. So it's not just um, taking, oh, this chore and making it cool and fun. Mm. It's actually educational, and the way that you play the game you know, incentivizes him to play it for a full two minutes, to brush every part of his mouth. Um, yeah, no, and, and it's, you know, it's turned him from someone who was, oh, I'm not going to brush my teeth, yeah. and would come up with all sorts of excuses to get out of it, to someone who now goes, you know, so how's Fluffy going today? A mundane chore, actually quite exciting. I guess the only thing is you need to make sure that you've got somewhere nice and dry to put your iPad in your bathroom so it doesn't get covered in water. You do. Um, are there examples of other examples of games for good? Yeah, and so look, there's heaps of educational games. Mm -hmm. So that most parents know about that now. You can we just, like the educational ones. Yeah, and that's easy. You can just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and you can find all sorts of counting and writing and, and reading games mm. and apps. That's no problem. Um, but what's new now is these kind of like social good games games that will teach you positive values or things you should know. So, for instance, the New Zealand Fire Service have a how to escape a house safely fire drill game called Fire Trap. That's good. Or um, Dairy New Zealand have a whole bunch of games on their Rosie's World website about um, you know, farming in New Zealand and, and topics like that. Gosh, there's some really cool things out there, isn't yeah. there? So what would you say then, um, what would be your top tips for us as parents looking to introduce games to our children? What would you say we should do? So it's all about parents being involved with their kids and knowing what they're playing. Mm. And, and that's as easy as actually you know, spending some time with your kids, setting them up while they're playing those games. Um, I know a lot of parents often have concerns about the length of time the yes. kids are playing. Um, and what we do in my household is actually get my kids to set the timer on the iPad or on the phone first. So they're in charge, um, but their expectations are set as to, oh, I know I'm only going to have half an hour at this time. That and is a great idea. Yeah. I'm going to try that in my household and I'm going to try and play Star Wars again because I'm going to master it, maybe, <laughs> one day. And I'll get some cool fact with my kids. Cool. Oh, that is great advice and a cool wee product for kids too. If you want more information about Philips' new Sonicare for kids, a connected toothbrush, go to the Philips website.